Hello and welcome back to Kim's Cozy Corner. I'm Kim and we have helper number one and helper number two. And we are going to take care of some more potatoes. So we are going to harvest potatoes in this video and the girls are going to help me out and they're going to manage this whole video for me. All right, we are in early September and these potatoes don't look very good and they haven't looked very good for a very long time. But I don't believe it was because they were ready to harvest. I believe they got some kind of disease and started dying back. But since the season is cooling off, the weather is getting cooler, the nights are cooler, we're gonna go ahead and manage these potatoes so we can take this soil and move it to another part of the garden and basically put it up for the season. So we are going to harvest all of these. We'll let you know how they're doing. I mean, I see some very small potatoes on top, but I'm not quite sure what we're gonna find inside. So the girls are gonna take care of all of this for me. So we'll just get started. Go ahead and pick the first one up. You know the process. Put them in here for now. Okay. And after you harvest this whole bag, you know you got to put them back on top again, okay? Mm -hmm. Here's where my girls get started. They do a really good job removing all of the stems and sorting through the dirt to try to find some potatoes. If there's nothing else in there, honey, y'all take that dirt, put it back in the bag. So there was nothing in that bag, so they went to the next bag to see what they could get out of it. They were getting kind of discouraged about finding potatoes. And then they found this beautiful purple viking here in this teeny little bag. And it gave them hope again to find potatoes. And so they continued to search this bag for potatoes before they moved on to the next bag. Once they finally turned the bag over, they were having a little difficulties getting the soil out the bag because it had been in there for so many months. And so I just came over to give them a little hand and to help them finally get all of the soil out. Um, it didn't take but a minute for me to come over and just give it a good press, push it down so the rest of the potatoes could come out but they really wanted to do it by themselves. So I tried not to interfere as much as possible, but they did pick quite a few of the purple Viking potatoes. This next bag here is a red Pontiac potato and the stems on this one were a little healthier than the other bags of potatoes. So my girls had to get the little snips to, to cut them out before they could pick those potatoes. But they were small in size. They were able to get a few, but they were extremely small in size. <laughs> if, if you have like... All of these came out of this one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, we only had... That's why I said... Mm. Boy, was my daughter happy when she saw these white potatoes. These were perfectly shaped white potatoes, and she was so happy about it. Now, these are Leahy, or should I say Lehigh, potatoes, and she was so excited. She didn't want to let them go. She's just holding them in her hand. Now, these potatoes were very close to the top of the soil, so you can see they're still pulling potatoes out even though they didn't turn the pot over like we typically do. But my daughter's holding on to these potatoes for her dear life. She just wants to make sure that I see these wonderful potatoes. And it gets to be so many she can't even keep them in her hand. She was so proud of those potatoes. So now my youngest daughter is trying to do all of the work while she's holding on to these potatoes she's trying to pick the bucket up and turn it over but you see you see my 10 year old's not letting go she's going to hold on to those potatoes while she tries to help her finish with this particular bucket oh. 
And I guess you can tell by now my girls are getting tired. So instead of them quitting on me, I came over to help them out and help them with the last two containers, which by the way had nothing in them whatsoever except for some teeny little baby potatoes. Now those last two buckets that we went through, honestly, I don't even think they had any plants that survived. They've been sitting empty for a very long time. Okay, this is my pitiful haul of my second round of potatoes. Now, if you remember, I said that these potatoes got some type of disease and as soon as they broke the soil, they got this disease and they died back. And I just left them in the pots because I didn't have time to deal with them. And so these potatoes have been in the ground since, I believe, June. And it's early September. And I decided to see what was going on. And so I didn't end up with any German butterball whatsoever in the pots. I had just a few Lehigh, um, or Lay, Lehigh, I think is what everybody said. It's Lehigh. I have just a few Lehigh over there. I have some really small ones and medium size. Purple Viking did okay. Um, I only had one seed potato in here. So one seed potato got me, I don't know, at least a half a dozen, there's a few more in here, uh, potatoes. And they were actually splitting open, so which means they dried out too much at some point in time. And then they had water and they split. And then, for my Pontiac Red, which by the way is a late season potato, I mean, they're, they're tiny. So, and then I had one that had nothing in them. So that disease absolutely stunted the growth of these potatoes. But at the end of the day, these were seed potatoes that if I didn't put in the ground, I was going to lose them because I, I had no other place for them. And they obviously wasn't, they weren't going to save to next season. So March of next year, they wouldn't have saved. I would have just thrown them away. But I was able to take a handful of what I would call trash or compost or something I would have thrown away into a couple, if not three different meals of potatoes. So nothing was lost here. This is not a failure. This is extra food I would not have had otherwise. And I had no use for the pots. So the pots would have set empty. So the pots brought me a blessing at the end of the day thank you for joining my girls as they went through these pots and did the potato harvest and we will keep harvest coming i know there's at least another half dozen pots over there we will put those in a separate video but i just wanted you to see what happens when you get disease to your plants and you still try to get a harvest so it's possible to get a harvest but just not a good harvest Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you back again here real soon. Bye.